I just feel like I'm going to be cancelled. <laughs> I'm going to bleed subscribers after this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Carol Titi. Karibu. Hey. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be talking about products that I regret. Actually, makeup that I regret buying. <sighs> I know today I'm all covered up because it's so cold in Nairobi and my hair is on week four remember to you guys I'm going to do this for three weeks it's week four so I have to wrap it up but it still looks cute right yeah so if you want to know the dates <laughs> of this video then hang tight let me get this party started <laughs> before I get started <laughs> and to put out some disclaimer now some of these products were sent to me uh, by a PR some of them I bought them myself and these are my opinion this is my opinion these are my opinions yeah there are many <laughs> these are mine some of these products may work for you but for me I'm just talking for myself they didn't work some of the ingredients are whack so yeah I'm just putting it out there these are according to my uh standards if your standards align with mine then we're good we see each other <laughs> and if we if it does if we don't like if we don't agree that's fine it's fine just give me your thoughts in the comment section yeah i would like to hear that both negative and positive you know i'm open <laughs> so yes let's get started now I don't know how I start this. Do I start like how you apply makeup, like primer, nini, 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 or do I go by brands? Mm, let me think about it. Okay, so I've decided to do brand by brand because it will make more sense for me as in terms of being organized. And then for you, when you you can tell like uh, what I like from a certain brand and what I don't like. And when you are done with it, you are done. Send <laughs> Okay, so, so the first, the first product is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Now, I got this foundation a while back and it's still a lot because hmm. now the thing I noticed about this foundation first and foremost is that it did give me some form of irritation, especially here around my cheeks. It oxidized like ah, because I'm a, I'm a shade <laughs> I'm a I, I picked up shade 360 and this ideally would be my perfect shade but gradually as the hours go by I would get darker and darker so if you look at my previous videos you would see that my neck up I used to look like a different shade to my chest and it's because I was using this foundation and another thing that I noticed is when I peeled off because the time that I bought this, I wasn't that ingredients conscious. And plus the ingredients is usually sealed with this thing. So you end up having to buy it for you to like see what exactly is in the foundation that you're buying. So what I got to find out is they use parabens in this. They have parabens these um so i'll just put up a screenshot of the ingredients list that i found from Ulta. the good thing about Ulta and sephora is that they do put up the ingredients list of all the makeup that they carry and from there you can tell if you want to buy a, a product or not qua <laughs> ground this is the situation you're dealing with qua ground you know you have to peel this off and then you know when you're going to peel this off this is like the, it has that, uh, I don't know if you can see, that kind of thing that beeps when you're going to leave and you haven't paid for the product. This is what, it's like the scanner, the barcode, I don't know that thing, what it's called, but yeah, it's that thing. So yeah, I don't know. I find it strange that they seal the ingredients list. Like why? Like why don't you seal somewhere else? Like why don't you put it up here? Like somewhere else other than sealing the 
uh, the ingredients list. And this also happens with LA Girl. If you go to any of the stores like Super Cosmetics, you'll find that the foundations are sealed and especially on the ingredients list. So it's upon yourself to go to the... Oh, the sun is coming. <laughs> it's upon you to go to any website, check out the ingredients list before you decide to purchase Kosovo grounds. Things need different. <laughs> so the same goes to their, this is the Master Prime Illuminating Primer. The same thing. I had to peel it off to see the ingredients and they do use parabens in there. So parabens are not only carcinogenic, but they are also skin irritant. So the moment I started feeling itchiness around my around my chin my cheeks i knew it was the foundation that was causing that because now that i've switched my foundation i don't feel the itchiness and you can tell how flawless this the foundation is i'll tell you more about the the foundation that i'm currently using in a later video but for today we are using i'm showing you guys but stuff that i regret another one is the from maybelline is the the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Oh, this thing, when I bought, okay, I've been like a fan of Maybelline mascaras for the longest, the longest. I've been like, the stitch, the, their mascara game is on a hundred. <laughs> but then when I got to read the ingredients list, I was like, why, why do you have paraffin in your mascara? Why? That is so close to our eyes. When you wash off your mascara, some of it gets into your eyes. So why do you have paraffin? I'm so disappointed in uh, Maybelline. And you know what? We were so excited last year when they launched the shade expansion. Like we had extra shades for the us melanin queens. But then mm, I think it didn't do so well because... The price has dropped of this product and I think I remember seeing somebody's Insta stories asking why the price of this foundation has really dropped and yeah I don't know why but for me it did not work for me it irritates my skin it oxidizes on me it leaves my face so oily because I am oily combination so this huh, no <laughs> no 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 okay moving on to elf now this product already had its own fair share of controversy online saying that the product in here is not the exact quantity like the uh, elf claims to have in here this is the poreless face primer by elf so yeah I felt um, it going on. I felt like it was so silicony. It felt like it was blurring, but I don't think this works for oily skin. My skin is oily combination, so throughout the day I will get oily on my T zone, and this did not work at all. But I have seen international beauty gurus review their new um, primer that rivals. Tatcha, so I'm like, hey, Elf, come here, you can up your game, eh? <laughs> and in Kenya, we get products that are like three or five years behind. So, uh, if Elf are really improving in their formulation and improving their products, then I am open to trying them out. So, yes, but this one, this one right here, okay, it's still there. Look, it's still there. <laughs> but uh i stopped using it a while back so yeah another thing from elf is this their felt tip eyeliner supposed to do up the perfect wing liner but hey this felt tip it's just like a normal marker like it's first of all it's not dark enough and then it dries out on you like like a real felt pen you know how a felt pen just dries out on you this is it so um 
I've seen other better uh, products for creating a perfect wing. It's not, um, it's like a brush tip and not a felt tip. Because this one, for this one, the felt tip, it's dirty. <laughs> it's supposed to be white, but it had some foundation on it. But yes, this one did not last. Like, I can't say it didn't work, it did not last. And I don't even know the ingredients. I'll just put the ingredients somewhere for all the products that I'm talking about. So, this product from e.l.f. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Hiya. Next up is this set that I bought from MAC. This was part of like the holiday set that they are selling. Okay, this one was 4200 oh my god i forgot to mention the prices i'll put the prices down as uh together with the ingredients list but yeah this was 4200 and i mostly bought it for this the fix plus because it's small like it's the tra it's travel size and this one over here is the their mascara and this is their lipstick so i felt like this is a good way to test out especially a brand you get Small, small sizes for you to try out before you really commit and let me show you when i open it up excuse the background <laughs> excuse the background um noise but yeah so this is the phone this is the mascara especially now that i ditched the what's it called the maybelline mascara i needed one and this is really good this is really good actually i'll show you guys the the tip now this is the travel size fit me and now the thing that i regret in this whole set is the lipstick now the lipstick does um contain paraffin i was like why why uh so i haven't even used the lipstick it's a really small size lipstick you know the mac lipstick is way bigger than this one this is like a a mini h1 <laughs> another thing about it was the shade uh, actually it's not a bad shade but it's like orange and for me i don't know if orange really works for me but guys this contains paraffin and i'm like mark guy how much are your lipsticks why does paraffin has to contain in here because if i look at the ingredients when i looked at the ingredients zuri they do uzuri they do have the ingredients at the back of the box now when i looked at the ingredients you can't really see because it's a very reflective unicarton yeah but if you i looked at the ingredients and i was like oh so they have castor oil as like their second ingredient i was like nice but then when i continue i'm like the fifth ingredient is paraffin i'm like like you just had to go and ruin it right but yeah so i know there's some people who are not as picky as i am and you wouldn't mind this one but yeah we're just telling you what i okay let's wait for that to go <laughs> wow so loud okay so i feel like this too i'll explain to you how i feel about them in a later video because this one is just targeted towards what i don't like now i feel like if you don't want any of these products that i'm talking about today you can just be the first one to hit me up on my dm on instagram so that you can get one of the goodies yeah one so that i can be able to give many but i don't know how i feel about giving you products that i wouldn't recommend but again i realize that everyone has the freedom to choose what they want to use yeah so yeah moving on okay so you guys if you've been an og on my channel then you've seen me review these lipsticks from pretty well now this especially this brown one many people love this brown one i wore it in my dubois 
anti haul video and people used to I, I mean guys were commenting asking which lipstick is that so it's this one it's reina by pretty bell this one <laughs> and then this one is hamosa it's like the purplish pinkish one and the red one is bonita now i <laughs> love this <laughs> lipstick and i know you're like i so this is like products i regret buying First of all, this I was sent to by PR when I did the video. I did a swatch video for them. And uh, yeah, I love, I love, love, love the Spanish collection. Now, they later came out with the lip gloss equivalent of these three shades that I've mentioned. So they came out with the lip gloss equivalent. So I was like, wow, this. I really love Reina, so I'm like, I can't wait to get the lip gloss. But when I looked at their ingredients, I was like, why? <laughs> their first ingredient, mineral oil. I was like, why? But the good thing I love about the owner of this brand, she is so open to feedback, to criticism, constru constructive criticism. Um, She was like, I told her, I love you know i love your lipsticks i love your the way you're doing things but then i told how your, your product has mineral oil so it's hard for me to do a review for it she's like it's okay i understand i understand i'm dealing with a naturalista <laughs> and yeah and majority of my following is naturalista so i'm like i can't really recommend this because First ingredient, mineral oil, and this is something that's going to be on your lips. So you probably, you probably are going to ingest it at some point. So I was like, oh, why? But she was like, it's okay. She's thinking of other oils to use, not necessarily mineral oil. But I understand why mineral oil is so popular. Hence, I've never used this product. They've just been lying around and I was like, Pide, it's about time I talked about it. And then this is, oh, this is Bella. Oh, this is Bella. This is not Bonita. Bella is a brighter red. So I have Bella, Hamosa, and Reina to give away. So these are the lip gloss equivalent of the lipsticks. So again, if you want it, you just hit my DMs and then you can get your yours one of them i guess one each uh i know lucy kabu has done a review of this lipstick lip glosses i think so you can go i'll put a link to her channel down below so you can go check it out and you see the swatches because i don't want to use them and i don't want to swatch them because i want to give them away so that's why <laughs> I don't want to tamper with them because I oh, can you swatch something and then give it to me. Yeah, so that's that for this brand. But I am happy that a brand owner is open to feedback. So if you're a consumer and you feel like oh, I don't like this and that about something, don't hesitate to reach out to the brand and just tell them your feedback and hopefully they'll listen. Okay, the final product is the Pauline Cosmetics Lip Gloss. Now, this uh, lip gloss and their lipsticks I was sent to via PR. I didn't buy them. And uh, the moment I got them, I was like, oh, my God. First ingredient, mineral oil. I don't know what it is about mineral oil and lip glosses. From what I understand from the formulation is that it gives the lips a very high shine and uh, the viscosity of the lip gloss. But then again, I'm like, mineral oil is not the only oil you can use. So Pauline Cosmetics. And then they also have parabens in there. I was like, why? They have paraffin and parabens. I'm like, mineral oil paraffin parabens i'm like wow that's a lot that's a lot in one product so this made me want to look at the the lipstick like what is in their lipsticks so this is the box i have three lipsticks of theirs 
this uh this is the the bca um bombshell bombshell uh rebel at enchanted and i was like wow okay so after checking out the box for the lip gloss i was like okay let me check out the box for the uh the lipsticks so when i checked the box i didn't see any preservative listed in there i was like okay and they don't have mineral oil on here so i was like okay all right um seems like some things are either missing or i didn't understand i was like where's the preservative in here so uh, i reached out to pauline cosmetics i sent them an email and i've never gotten a response so i was like okay so i just discontinued using their lipsticks because i was like but i have used them i have used them so this is not something i can give away my lips are there unless you're comfortable as sharing <laughs> i don't think this uh lipsticks i can share i mean i can give out but if you're open to it the thing is i bought the anyango collection and gave it out as a giveaway just to show you that i was promoting like kenyan products and then i later on came to find out that And then they didn't respond to my email so anyway guys so that's it <laughs> i know this video is uh, is a lot <laughs> and to share with you guys what i'm currently using and what i want to buy so i was like let me start off with what i am giving away as in clearing my stash before I start getting in new stuff for me to share with you guys and hopefully start doing tutorials. Yes, I know many of you have been asking for it and I have been preparing. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Tell me what works for you from this collection. Tell me what is a, as if you're, you're like, Chichi, me and you same WhatsApp group. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram because Instagram is where all the, all the party is over there. <laughs> on a daily, on the hourly. <laughs> okay, guys, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Party after party. Uh, yeah. 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 party, after party.